हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द फाइनेंशियल डिसीजन लिवरेज टॉपिक इन द लिवरेज लिवरेज रिप्रेजेंट द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ द पावर the leverage term which has been taken from the physics on the principle of gaining the larger benefit by using the lesser amount of the force so in uh, picture it is mentioned that a lever is a simple machine consisting of beam or a rigid rod pivoted at a fixed hinge or fulcrum a lever is a rigid body capable for rotating on point of itself like a seesaw cross bars scissor here exactly what happen that ki when you Uh, push the uh, one side of the uh, the seesaw the other side will be lift up so th on this concept actually this leverage uh, topic is there leverage is a technique which is to evaluate a risk evaluate a risk associated with any business organization so there are the various type there are the various types of the risk that is a business risk financial risk are there and for evaluation of this risk the leverage technique has been used it refers the relationship between the two interrelated variable in financial leverage leverage represent the influence of the one financial variable or some other related financial variable so basically sales cost ebit eps these variables are there so impact of change in variable x on variable y it is termed as an a leverage of y with x in analysis of the leverage as i told you that the risk has been divided into two part one is a business risk and a financial risk business risk refers to the risk associated with the firm's operation it is associated with the firm's operation it is represented by the variability of the ebit that is the earning before interest and tax operating leverage concept can be used for to evaluate the business risk second is in a financial risk it refers to the additional risk placed on the shareholder as a result of the debt of the finance so debt used in financing because of that the financial risk has been increased because you are borrowing the money but obviously you have to repay them more debt more interest leads to the high financial risk so here the interest component is very important in the case of the business risk the fixed cost is important as an a fixed cost is increasing the operating leverage has been increased in the financial leverage if the debt or interest on loan or interest on debt is been increasing the financial leverage has been increasing so types of leverage operating leverage is there which is basically evaluate the business risk financial leverage which is evaluate the financial risk and combined leverage is there which is in a tot which is evaluating the total risk that is the business risk and the financial risk now we'll discuss the operating leverage operating leverage is a ratio of net operating income before fixed charges as i told you that fixed expenses or fixed cost to net operating income after fixed charges okay so these two things are Im important i just sh show you the income statement then you will understand that this is an income statement where the sales is there less variable cost then contribution less fixed cost then ebit is there so if you just see that here the fixed cost is there so before fixed cost the contribution is there and after fixed cost the ebit is there actually so here these two things which is important it is a tendency of the operating in income ebit to change disproportionately with the change in the sales volume as in the sales volume has been changed the operating income will change disproportionate changes is caused by the operating cost which does not change in the sales volume operating leverage may be defined as an employment of the asset with the fixed cost correct with the fixed cost so that enough revenue can be generated to cover all the fixed and variable cost so as in a the sales has been increasing then the variable cost fixed cost the fixed cost remain constant fixed variable cost has been increasing in the proportionate to the so therefore it is related to the fixed cost if there is no operating in leverage if there is no fixed cost see here i just go through the formula that operating leverage is equal to contribution upon the earning before interest and tax ebit now i am just drawing here the sales is there suppose sales is in a 10 less variable cost is in a 
6 the 4 is in a contribution less fixed cost suppose fixed cost is in 2 2 is in EBIT is there and if by applying this formula contribution upon the EBIT contribution is 4 is there and EBIT is 2 so therefore the 2 is in a operating leverage but if there is in a no fixed cost say as in a I am again calculating this sales is a 6 variable cost is a sorry sales is a 10 variable cost is 6 contribution is 4 now there is no fixed cost I am just putting the fixed cost is 0 then EBIT is in a 4 now if you calculate the operating leverage the operating leverage is equal to contribution upon the EBIT so contribution is 4 and EBIT is 4 so answer is 1 so if there is a no fixed cost then there is a no, no operating leverage so here this is the very important in this regard operating leverage is a function of three factors one is a fixed cost variable contribution margin and sales of the volume as I told you that sales variable cost and contribution these are the formulas are there degree of the operating leverage percentage change in EBIT di divided by the percentage change in sales operating leverage contribution upon EBIT so most probably this second formula this formula which has been used that is the contribution about the EBIT then another formula is operating leverage is the combined leverage upon the financial leverage so if there is an a uh, certain figures which has not been given in the problem then by reversely we, by using this combined leverage you can calculate the operating leverage then one of the formula that operating leverage is in a 1 upon the MOS sale proportion high operating leverage show the higher burden of fixed cost and the EBIT so operating leverage is directly proportional to the business risk very important so more operating leverage leads to the more business risk as in a your operating leverage has been increasing then business risk is also increasing now see here in in this case there is a no fixed cost so what happened that operating leverage is one that is a good one but if it is in a more than one or operating leverage is in a increasing then the business risk is also increasing then second type is in a financial leverage financial leverage indicates the tendency of the EBT to vary proportionately with the operating EBIT again see here I just uh, go through the income statement or the profitability statement you will understand that here the after EBIT interest component is there then EBT is there that is earning before tax so again this part is there which has been mentioned so it is an affecting with the EBIT and EBT so degree of the financial leverage is the ratio of the percentage increase in the EPS and the percentage increase in the EBIT financial leverage may be defined as the use of fund with the fixed cost in order to increase the earning per shares financial leverage may be defined as an ability of the firm to use fixed financial charges it is important that is fixed financial charges to magnify the effect of the changes in EBIT and EPS because at the financial charges is increasing but obviously EBT will be decreased again the EPS these are the formulas of the calculating the financial leverage degree of the financial leverage is in a percentage change in the EPS upon the percentage change in EBIT second formula is in a very important most most of the times we are using this formula that is the financial leverage is equal to EBIT upon the EBT this is very important then again financial leverage is the combined leverage upon the operating leverage as I told you that if some figures has been missing the reversely we can calculate that when capital structure consists of the preference shares the formula is changed so this is the most important that now see company can raise the fund through the equity share capital through the preference share capital then they can use the return earning or the debt fund so here if the capital structure consisting the preference share capital then the for calculating the financial leverage the formula has been different the formula is an EBIT upon EBT minus preference dividend divided by 1 minus T T stand for tax so this formula use but this formula when we have to use that when the capital structure consisting the preference shares then the company has large amount of the fixed charges the financial leverage is high because fixed charges there is an interest component is high but obviously it will be increase the financial leverage so high financial leverage is not good it indicates the large content of the fixed interest charges it is very important that in long run company won't try to reduce the financial charges 
or the uh, interest component so that what will happen that the financial leverage will be goes down so how it possible so company has to raise the fund internally that issuing the equity shares rather than raising the fund through the debt and if they are raising the fund through the debt also the company at the earliest they have to repay the debt so that the interest component will be come down or will be disappear from this income statement and but obviously the financial leverage will be goes down so that will be good for the company so earning to equity shareholder that is the eps will be fluctuate if the financial leverage is very high because you are paying more to the debenture holders or the debt holder and but obviously it will be impacted to the earning per shares then combined leverage combined leverage is a combination of the financial leverage and operating leverage if you see this formula lastly combined leverage is an operating leverage multiplied by the financial leverage again another formula you can use that combined leverage is a contribution upon the ebit how is formula see here combined leverage is an operating leverage into multi financial leverage so above that we mention combined leverage now operating leverage the formula is contribution upon the ebit this is the formula which has been used for the calculating the operating leverage then for calculating the financial leverage the formula is used use ebit upon the ebt so these two formula see this operating leverage multiplied by the financial leverage you have to mention here now if you just simplify this here earning before uh, interest and tax which has been denominator here it will be cancelled here and the final formula will be contribution upon the ebt which has been written over that's the contribution upon the ebt i hope you understood that then again degree of the combined leverage percentage change in the eps upon the percentage change on the sales so it may be defined as a potential use of the fixed cost both operating and financial that is a fixed cost and a financial fixed cost that is the interest okay which magnifies the effect of the sales volume change in the earning per share of a firm now we already discussed some of the part of the income statement or the profit based statement this is a very important when you have to calculate the leverage ultimately these figures are very important that is a ebit ebt how it is calculated through this income statement the for format has been given sales minus variable cost contribution less fixed cost then the ebit less interest ebt less tax if the tax portion or tax has been given in the problem then you have to deduct a tax and then you have to calculate the after tax will get the pat or the eat that is the earning after tax now here the interest gets the benefit of the taxation so therefore it has been deducted before the before deduction of the tax then preference dividend if the capital structure considering the preference share capital you have to make the payment to the preference shareholder in the form of the preference dividend then finally after deducting the preference dividend you will get the earning available to the equity shareholder it means this amount which is available to the equity shareholder then you have to divided number of equity shares you will get the earning per shares so this way this income statement has been prepared again in right hand side i mentioned the formula which is very basically very important or most of the time this formula has been used again we'll repeat that operating leverage is equal to contribution upon the ebit second financial leverage is equal to ebit upon the ebt and combined leverage is equal to operating leverage multiplied by the financial leverage okay or the other formula that is the contribution upon the ebit so this formula we can use at the time of the calculating the operating leverage financial leverage and combined leverage here again i tell you one of the thing that is na in financial leverage also see here how the interest on debt is affecting say adana sales is there suppose sales is na 20 less variable cost is there 14 So six is na contribution, then less fixed cost to four is na EBIT, less interest to EBT is na two. Now if you calculating the financial leverage, the formula is na earning before interest and tax EBIT. EBIT is na four. 
डिवाइडेड बाय ईबीडी दैट इज अ टू तो टू फोर डिवाइडेड बाय टू इज इक्वल टू टू तो टू इज एन अ फाइनेंशियल लिवरेज बट हियर अगेन इफ देर इज नो फिक्स फाइनेंशियल चार्जेस दैट इज एन इंटरेस्ट ऑन डिबेंचर और द इंटरेस्ट ऑन लोन देन सी हाउ इट इज इफेक्टेड सेल्स इज ट्वेंटी वेरिएबल कॉस्ट फोर्टीन अगेन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूशन सिक्स फिक्स कॉस्ट टू ई बी आई इज एन फोर नो इंटरेस्ट इज द कंपनी हैज नॉट बोर्ड Uh, capital company has utilized their own or used their uh, company can company has issued the equity share capital or preference share capital or use their return earning company has not uh, issued debenture or company has not taken any loan so in this case no need to pay any interest so uh, there is no interest so interest is zero ebt is in a four now in this case what happened that ebt is in a four and ebt is also four the financial leverage is one so it is a good for the company if it is a more than that then that is not a good for the company so it means the financial risk has been increasing so here it is mentioned that ki high financial leverage is not good it indicates the large content of the fixed interest charges if there is no fixed interest charges the uh, financial leverage is in a one because ebit is equal to ebt and so this is very important in this regard now now what we are discuss here is just uh, will uh, take the overview see leverage is the technique which used to evaluate the risk associated with the business organization how much amount of the risk and basically two two things are important fixed cost and the interest component okay fixed financial charges so even the company in the long run what happened that ki fixed cost is remain constant if the production has been increasing or so therefore what will happen that ki variable cost is increasing but fixed cost remain constant so in this regard what happened that ki the company gets benefit so over the period of time the company is tried to minimize or reduce the fixed cost again analysis of the leverage business risk and financial risk so operating leverage is associated with the business risk and financial leverage is associated with the uh financial risk combine leverage the total risk that is the business risk and the financial risk operating leverage it is the ratio of the net operating income before fixed charges to net income net operating income after fixed charges the formula basically we using that contribution upon the ebit financial leverage it is in a Ratio of percentage increase in the earning per share to the percentage increase in the earning before interest and tax, or the tendency of the EBT to vary proportionally with operating profit EBIT. The formula that is the earning before interest and tax EBIT divided by EBT. Combined leverage it is the ratio of percentage change in the earning per share to the percentage change in the sales. The formula basically we are using that is the operating leverage multiplied by financial leverage. or else the contribution upon the earning before tax and the profitability statement we have to keep in mind this statement because it is very important every time you just uh, whenever you solve this problem you just uh, understand that statement because this statement is very important while calculating this leverages okay and this is the income statement that is the sales minus variable cost contribution then fixed charges then ebit less interest ebt less tax then eat less preference dividend then earning available to the equity shareholder then the number of equity shares which has been divided to that and finally we get the earning per shares and again this formula which already discussed over here okay thank you